Arthur Canute was born in 1018 in Denmark, the son of the powerful Danish king Canute the Great and his wife, Emma of Normandy. He was the youngest of Canute's sons and had several half-siblings from his father's previous marriages. As a child, Arthur Canute spent time in England with his mother, who had been the wife of the English king, Ethelred the Unready, before marrying Canute. When his father died in 1035, Arthur Canute was in Denmark and was immediately proclaimed king of Denmark by his supporters. However, his half-brother Harold Harefoot, who was in England at the time, was also declared king of England by his supporters, leading to a division of the kingdom. In 1036, Arthur Canute attempted to invade England and claim the throne, but he was unsuccessful and returned to Denmark. In 1039, Harold Harefoot died, leaving the throne of England vacant once again. Arthur Canute saw this as an opportunity to claim the English throne and began making plans to invade England once again. In June 1040, Arthur Canute arrived in England with a large fleet of ships and was quickly crowned King of England in Oxford. Arthur Canute's reign was marked by a series of harsh laws and heavy taxation, which made him unpopular with the English people. He demanded a high tribute from his subjects and imposed strict penalties on those who failed to pay. Arthur Canute had a strained relationship with his mother, Emma of Normandy, who had helped secure his claim to the English throne. He accused her of conspiring against him and confiscated some of her lands. In 1041, Arthur Canute had the body of his half-brother Harold Harefoot exhumed and publicly beheaded and thrown into a river, apparently as a gesture of revenge for his earlier exile, it was later retrieved and reburied in a churchyard. Arthur Canute also had several of his enemies executed, including his own brother-in-law, Eadwulf of Northumbria, who he accused of plotting against him. In 1042, Arthur Canute fell ill at a wedding feast and died soon afterwards, leaving no heirs. He was only 24 years old. His death led to a succession crisis in England, with several claimants vying for the throne. One of the claimants was Edward the Confessor, the son of Emma of Normandy, who had been living in exile in Normandy. The English nobility ultimately chose to recall him to England and crown him king. Edward the Confessor went on to rule England for the next 24 years, marking a period of stability and prosperity. Arthur Canute was buried in Winchester Cathedral, where his mother Emma had also been buried. Arthur Canute was also the last Viking ruler of England, as his reign marked the end of the Viking Age in England. Arthur Canute was known for his love of hunting and was said to have kept a large pack of hounds. He was also known to be a heavy drinker and was said to have consumed large quantities of alcohol at feasts and banquets. According to some accounts, Arthur Canute died while playing a game of tables, a medieval board game that was similar to backgammon. Despite his unpopular reign, Arthur Canute is remembered as the last Danish king of England. He was seen as a symbol of the end of Danish rule in England and the beginning of a new era of English monarchy.